Today, we are taking a look at my LEGO Star Wars Rebel Army. With over 250 minifigures, 25 builds, and two UCS sets. I know. Not super impressive. Now we are going to dive into all of it, but first I'm gonna ask you to hit that like button for my boy, Rebel Friend. Rest in peace. Now before we do get into this, I do wanna quickly say this video will be divided into three chapters, which you can check out down below. We're starting with the minifigures, moving on into the sets, and then giving you my full and final thoughts. So with that said, subscribe, and let's get into it. So here we have a look at my Rebel ships, and we are going to start over here. These are main Rebellion ships, and then as we move forward, it gets into more Star Wars Rebel stuff, more Resistance. Uh, over here, we have the Rogue One Ewing, a fantastic set, absolutely great Rebel transport. We also have the 2016 Y-Wing, great set. Also, the 2020 X-Wing, very controversial set. I'm warming up to it a bit, especially at its now $40 price. Uh, the 2018 Superior X-Wing, I love this guy. He is beautiful and great in every way. Uh, the A-Wing, just just a nice set. Not much to it. It came with a Lando Calrissian, which is pretty cool. The 2014 Snowspeeder, great set. Just love it a ton. Uh, we also do have over here the A-Wing that goes with the Darth Vader TIE Advanced. And then one of the best ships, not not just Rebel ships, but ships in all LEGO Star Wars, the Tantive IV. Uh, this is just a beautiful set. If you move around the back, the engines are phenomenal. It truly is like, like no other LEGO Star Wars set I've honestly ever seen. We also have the Phantom and this speeder that came in the Moss Isley Cantina. We have a little Tauntaun. We have the Resistance Y-Wing. We have uh, the Resistance ITS Transport, one of the Resistance Pods. The Resistance Transport, a great set actually for storing plenty of minifigures if you want to just, you know, store them up and fly them around. The Ski Speeder, another great one. We also have the Junior's X-Wing, a terrible set. Captain Rex's ATTE has become popular once again. Beautiful set. Uh, Luke Skywalker's helmet, you know, that one's up for debate for a lot of people even being a part of the Rebel Army. But I'm going to throw it in uh, just here because I feel like it adds. And then you also do have the, res again, controversial Resistance Bomber. And the Resistance, uh, you know, A-Wing, which is still on sale on Amazon for $30 today. You also have a Junior set, and my first ever LEGO Star Wars set, the Microfighter Falcon. I do not feature all the Microfighters in these, I just wanted to feature a few. Over here, we also have my two Millennium Falcons. This one was the 2011 one, heavily modified by Younger Me. We also do have the brand new 2019 one, or brand new to me at least. Uh, a pretty neat set, hard to get an angle of, I didn't feel like bringing them down for this video. We also have this guy sealed, which I intend to uh, show in next year's Rebel Army, and I figured I'd save it for that. Finally, we have one of the greatest Rebellion sets of all time, the UCS A-Wing Starfighter. An absolutely stunning set, alongside, of course, my UCS Millennium Falcon. Let's take a look at that. Here's my favorite LEGO Star Wars set of all time. My UCS Millennium Falcon, uh, one of the greatest Rebellion ships of all time. So now we are going to take a look at my LEGO Star Wars Rebellion Army. Starting off in the front is my Ghost Crew. We have Sabine, Zeb, Hera, uh, Kanan, and Ezra, and Chopper. Uh, great minifigures, very colorful selection of characters. We got here, quite honestly, very expensive now, especially Zeb. He's going for like 60, 70 bucks. Behind them, we have some of the new Hoth Rebel minifigures. These are all from the new Hoth minifigure pack sold from LEGO. Uh, moving back, we have the main characters. From the sequel trilogy, we have a handful of Rays from Episode 9 and Episode 7. Uh, you know, we don't have, I don't believe, The Last Jedi Ray in here. We also do have over there, we have a handful of Finns from all of the movies. And we have about three Poes. Those are not all my Poes. Uh, I just did not put them all there. Uh, now, moving back, we have the Legend of Star Wars Luke Skywalker. We have a very large handful of farm boy Lukes, including, but not limited to, the new Blue Milk Luke. That is a very expensive figure nowadays. We also do have some of the new ones, like the one from The Mandalorian, uh, which is really cool. Uh, you also do have, you know, Rebellion Luke with the special hut, uh, you know, helmet mold. That one, I love that helmet mold. And you also even have old Luke Skywalker, since we are doing Resistance here. Now, moving next to him, we do have Princess Leia. There's also some more Lukes behind him, because we still have plenty of 
of those guys. I'm actually going to swap out this hair because that's bothering me. Uh, and yeah, so we have that. We have the Luke from the new Hoth set. Uh, we also do have, again, all of those Leias. We have Endor Leias, that sort of stuff. Uh, and then we over there have Han Solos uh, from Empire Strikes Back, The Force Awakens, like old Han right here. We also have him in his Endor outfit from the Imperial Shuttle, which is quite honestly a really cool minifigure. Have a hard time focusing on there. <laughs> Then over in the center there, we have some of the key figures in the resistance movement, like Rose or Admiral Haldo. Fan favorites, obviously. This entire section is full of fan favorites. And then over there, we have actual fan favorites. Uh, we have Admiral Akbar, Billy D. Williams, my guy. We have Lando. Uh, we also have, you know, Admiral Radis, Dodonna, Bail Organa, Nine Num, Admiral Akbar. And then moving down, we have uh, my first real collection, a solid amount of just all of the same Rebel pilots, minus like two faces. Uh, and then we have leading them some of the older minifigures, namely being Luke and this other guy. I like to think it's Biggs, uh, but it might not be. And then over here, we have Captain Antilles leading a handful of Rebel troopers, a mix between 2009 and 2019 Rebel trooper minifigures. Now up front on the second base plate, we do have a handful of characters. We have the Firestar Toys custom Hoth Princess Leia, or Bespin Princess Leia actually is a better way to refer to that. We also have Wilro Hood, who is a rebel informant, so that's pretty cool. You have Kara Cynthia Dune. We have a handful of her. I uh, just only put one here. We have two Zori Blisses. I just happen to have them around. Ray, another Poe, one of those rebel technicians. Princess Leia, Cal Kestis, again, Firestar Custom. We also have Cassian for the new Andor show. Uh, we also have these two from Solo. Don't remember their names. That's how forgettable they were. Empty's Nest, I believe. Uh, and then we have the Rogue One cast. All great looking Lego Star Wars minifigures. Then over here we have some of the Hoth Rebels from a variety of years, most of which I believe are from 2010. We have some more modern ones, and then we have way more modern ones like these two. We also do have some of my Endor figures. You might recognize some people here. Uh, maybe that is a Nick Saint. Some of you will recognize him as. Others will recognize him as Captain Rex. Others will recognize this guy as Commander Wolf. I like to think Commander Wolf was at Endor 2. We don't know what happened to him really, uh, but we do know he was in the Rebellion. We also do have some pilots over there. We have have the legends like Biggs Darklighter. The last time we got him was in 2018. Beautiful figure. We also got a legend like Captain Antilles that I believe came in a junior set alongside loads of other pilots. We also got one of the best Rebel pilot minifigures in my opinion with the UCS A-Wing. This is the guy that crashed and committed suicide to save the Rebellion. Absolutely epic there, my guy. And then anyway, moving on, we do have some basic, you know, resistance guys back here. We have some variety of pirate pilots, including Snap Wexley, not an entirely rare figure. Very cool still. We also have, you know, some aliens you'll start to notice uh, from mainly the Battlefront 2-pack. That's a great minifigure. Please, Lego, do more aliens. We'll talk about that later. And then we do have a handful of resistance troopers. We also have C-3PO from all the eras. You'll notice one of them is missing an arm, of course, because the red arm is being used other other places. We also have a handful of Ewoks. Those are most of my Ewoks. We also have some Chief Chirpas uh, back there. Uh, we also do have Wookiees. Plenty of Wookiees, including, but not limited to, the legend himself, Chief Tarful. Obviously, a bunch of Chewbacca's. A bunch of older, classic Wookiees. I feel like they are just integral to the Rebellion, honestly. And I feel like it would have been doing them a disservice if I did not include them. Now, quite honestly, I would dive more into the specific numbers, uh, but I just generally find it less interesting because we honestly have Rebels scattered all over, so no matter what number I give you, it's inaccurate. We have Cara Dunes in there. We have plenty of Rebels in there. Uh, we have, like, you know, R2-D2s all around. I have plenty of R2-D2s I didn't even throw in because some people don't count them as figures. Um, so again, my general estimate is around 250 total, and that's kind of the number I'm going to run with uh, going into next year. So, you know, we'll build up on that. We've gotten about 50 since the last army building, which is pretty epic, and by the end of this year, we'll hopefully have close to 300. So, um, this is a lot of minifigures. <laughs> yeah, quite honestly, I was shocked by the amount my armies grew. I have over 25 Luke Skywalker minifigures, which is nuts. Uh, we've branched off into whole new Lego Star Wars Rebel type sets. Uh, we have ones, for instance, like the Luke Skywalker pilot helmet. Not necessarily a Rebel Army type 
thing, but it is a fantastic display piece to go alongside your sets, especially your UCS Rebellion sets. Say if we get a new X-Wing, this is going to be beautiful next to that particular set. Overall, I am relatively happy with my Rebel Army. I don't have too much of everything, and I don't have an absurd amount of anything. Uh, you know, if I had to say I have a lot of something, I'd say I probably have a disproportionate amount of Hoth Troopers, but that's just because of all the recent sets and minifigure packs. Would I like to have more of any of these? Absolutely. I would certainly like to have more of the Tantive Four Rebels, and quite honestly, I would not mind if we got a battle pack of those guys. They are super iconic. We have not gotten a battle pack of them since 2009, and to be honest, it's been a while. I really miss them. You'll get them in scattered sets. You'll get them in a couple junior sets. You've got them, obviously, in the Tantive Four, uh, but we didn't see them too much. Things like the Pilot minifigures, we see those all the time. I've honestly gotten my fix of them. And especially, obviously, we've gotten our fix of the Farm Boy Lukes. I have, like, five right here, six right here. That doesn't even make up a fraction of the ones I actually have. I just wanted to feature a couple here to, you know, show all the different variants. But yeah, a thing I absolutely love about Rebel Armies over nearly any other army in Star Wars is how diverse it is. It is such a neat army, and obviously we're, we're dividing this up with Resistance, which is effectively the same thing. We all count it as the same thing. It's just so incredibly different. Not only are they geared for different battlefield, but they all look very different. They are, some are aliens. Um, you know, they all look very just generally different. We have droids, we have Wookiees, we have Ewoks. We have these guys, and this is one of my favorite things about LEGO Star Wars, alien diversity. One of my favorite recent sets is the Boba Fett's Palace. It comes with loads of new aliens, and I think it's a great Rebel starter kit. You just put those guys in Rebel jumpsuits, give them a blaster. They are perfectly adequate to go into your Rebel armies, in my opinion, if not some sort of pirate militia. And quite honestly, if I had to call for something from LEGO in regards to Rebel army building, please add more alien diversity. We did get the new Hoth minifigure pack, and it's alright, but realistically it doesn't fully capture what the Rebellion looks like. The Rebellion's made up a lot of, of a lot of aliens. And I really think they do it just because they don't want to do exclusive molds, which is, I guess, fine. Uh, but I'd really like to see more of that, and I think it would be really quite cool. Now, I am curious, what do you guys think of my army? Tell me in the comments down below. I will see you all in the next one. Remember to peace out and stay awesome. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Okay, bye.